welcome from uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters. He's the uh, board vice president, Harry Howard. Hi, Harry. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you guys as well. I should also mention uh, Harry is uh, also with LJ Ross. Yes. And you're uh, like the head of the whole thing, right? I am the relationship manager, LJ Ross, so I make sure that all of our clients, everything that they need, and I also am in charge of engagement, so that means lots of pizza parties and yeah. uh, good times. You that's, make sure everyone's having a good time and happy. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. I like that. Yeah, no. and Harry was uh, just elected to the Vanderbilt. Lake School Board. Yep. Yes, that's a big deal. So thank you for mentioning that. And also congratulations on your 5K shows. Big in the community. We appreciate you guys. So thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Do Thanks. we have two school board members in the building today? <laughs> yeah. We do. <laughs> well, not today. Jeff is uh, oh, Jeff's babysitting. babysitting. Jeff Just, Steers is babysitting yes. his uh, grandbaby this morning. So cameraman Jeff Steers. We love him on the. He and I are the two new board members. Yes. So we and you're enjoying it so far. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, he's babysitting because his daughter works at the uh, florist and. Uh, Oh, it's a busy day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I'll... I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we are, uh, it's that time of year, we're bowling. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're bowling for uh, kids' sake. And uh, you're involved, obviously, through Big Brothers Big Sisters. But LJ Ross is title sponsor this year. Yeah, so we've been a sponsor for years, and we've been the title sponsor for the last couple years. It's a really a big event. What we try to do at Big Brothers, we have our tent pole events with bowling, golf for kids' sake. And we also have our auction at the end of the year. So we really try to have the most fun possible when we have our events because people already want to help Big Brothers Big Sisters. But if we, when they come out to help, if we can make sure they have a good time, uh, then they're even more likely to give even more and donate. So we like to have fun at our events or our fundraisers without the littles. So this is for adults. So if you want to have a team come on out, reach out to us so we can get you signed up. Is there a theme this year? So the bowling event there is not a theme, but coming up soon for the auction, it's 70s. So okay. get your wigs, get everything ready, you start growing your hair out. And now. it was 80s, correct? Yes. yes. 80s was a lot of fun. Went with the Miami Vice personally. Oh yes, so I saw that. So we had a that. good time. Yeah. <laughs> we all have uh, we all have 80s stuff we can uh, we can pull out. So that's yeah. cool. So uh, if people want to get a team, what do they do? They just uh, contact. Big Brothers Big Sisters? That's right, contact Big Brothers Big Sisters. It's a five person team, $250 per team. If you would like to have more than one team, we will give you a discount on the second team. Cool. So just reach out. Uh, right now we have about half the lanes filled. By the time that it starts, we'll probably have the full alley filled. So if you okay. really would like to bowl, reach out as soon as possible. And you really don't have to be a good bowler. No. Oh, not at all. This is just for fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, scores being kept, but not really. So come on out, have a good time, bring your best friends that like to bowl, and support a great cause. We had a, a good time together a few weeks ago at the Mentor Appreciation Dinner. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. There was uh, the entertainment was fantastic. Yeah. So we did have the local magician. Um, you guys are a big fan of him as well. He came out. He actually played the trick on me. They did the. I'm not going to give it away, but I was uh, involved in one of the magic tricks. Yes, so it you was were. A lot of fun. You tried yeah. on my way out you tried getting me to give it away and I wouldn't I did I asked you guys I was in the hallway and I didn't told so it's great you guys should always see it. if you go down to Veritas it's a yeah. great time there he is Daniel Martin with uh, the executive director Tony Hall and also the main theme of that night is we honor our, our bigs and our littles so mm -hmm. we, that's one of our favorite events because we have our uh, bigs of the year we have our littles that we honor so we really get the opportunity for everyone to come out our high school peer to peers as you can see there Ty Gaddy so it's really great to get to honor the people that do a lot for us and to give back. And I also got to take my first photo for JTV um, as you were honored, so and there was no one there to take the picture, so I volunteered. <laughs> I love hearing from the high school students. Mm -hmm. They're so mature and- Photo as, by Harry Howard. Yeah, that, that, there it is right there. Wow, that's photo. a heck of a photo. Yeah, great camera. The, uh, the kids, uh, as, a, as an adult, I get so much out of it, hearing that these young high school kids and their passion to help, um, it's, it's very inspiring. So the best thing about that is because once it's instilled, like at Michigan Center, they've done it the longest. So you have kids that when they get in high school, mm -hmm. they got that help at a young age. So yeah. they know about the program, they love the program, and they can't wait for their opportunity to give back and be on the other yeah. end. So it's a really great experience. It's one of those things that will stick with you for life. And we want to hopefully implement it. You know, as you said, I'm now a member of the Vanderbilt Lake School Board, yeah. so eventually we'd like to see Vanderbilt cool. be involved as well. Cool. Yeah, I was talking to some uh, people who were at the Mentor Appreciation uh, event for the first time, and they were wondering why they were invited, but it turns out they had expressed interest and in maybe thinking about becoming a big brother or big sister, mm -hmm. and uh, they got hooked that yeah. night. They get the, it really is a great 
uh, exposure to the program and you really get to see, because uh, there's kids there, there's littles that mm -hmm. come to the thing with their bigs and people sign up right after that event. That's really what it's all about. You get to hear the great stories, like you said, the littles there. If you can go there and not, your heart doesn't melt, then I don't know what mm -hmm. to tell you because you hear people's stories, you hear how it changes their lives. Uh, I know that we had one that she got her little guinea pig and she was so happy that she finally got it. Mm -hmm. But the time and the effort, it really, when you change a young person's <coughs> life, when you give someone that maybe didn't have mm -hmm. a person to lean on or a person to look up to, that mentorship, it goes a long way. And like I keep saying, it, it affects their life. It changes their life for the mm -hmm. positive. So if it's something that you can do, it's like one hour a week, four times a, or four times a month. It's not a really big commitment, mm -hmm. but what you do the reward you get out of it is huge. So, uh, Harry, you've, you've been involved uh, for quite a while. Do you remember what it was that uh, led you to first get involved with uh, the organization? So I actually wanted to volunteer. I wanted to do something, but I really didn't know. There was lots of things in town, but mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. And I actually ran into Tony at a Vanderbilt Lake football game. Okay. I actually was on the visitor side because I just wanted to watch the game and not really talk with a lot of people right. ever, and I ran right into Tony and he said, I have something for you. And I was like, well, what do you have for me? When he told me, I was like, oh yeah, that's something I want to do. So it was actually just one of those things, a happenstance where I was in the right place at the right time. Cool. Yeah, you mentioned uh, being um, interested in getting Vander Cook Lake on board as one of the schools. And we've got uh, Michigan Center, mm -hmm. uh, East Jackson. Yes, and I believe Napoleon is our new Napoleon, school as well. yeah. Yes. Napoleon was mm -hmm. represented at the, uh, at the mentor that's appreciation. Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now. Uh, we're still um, seeing a shortage of bigs, and we need both big brothers and big sisters, but I think the need is greater with the boys. Yes, yeah, so boys always, we always need more. We do need more of our black members of our community to come out. Um, we have a lot of littles that would like to have a big just like them, so boys, girls, but anyone, if you want to do it, we can definitely find someone for you. There's no age limit, so if you're retired and you're looking for something to do in your retirement, come be a big. Um, if you're just starting out in your career and you want to look for an extra thing to do, extracurricular, something that will help you build on your growth, come and be a big. There's no walk of life that we would turn away. There's no one that couldn't do it. Like I said, it's really just one hour a week, plus more if you would like, but that's the minimum commitment. And I think that, that just about anyone can find that time for that. That's cool. Yeah, Ron Page is a great example. Yeah, he's absolutely. just joined the program last summer and he's already the big brother of the he year. He was, yeah. <laughs> and please look up the interview that you guys did with him. It was one of the best that we've seen. Uh, yeah. His little is incredible. At our Halloween party, he arrested me six times and made me stand up with <laughs> So it was a great time. Uh, it's cool seeing some of the stories um, of the littles that have, you know, they're into their 30s and 40s now. Uh, we saw a story where uh, a big and a little went on a vacation together um, later in life just because of that relationship they had when they were younger, so. That was actually Lynn Kenworthy, yeah, one of Lynn. our former board members. She won our trip last year yeah. and she took her little. So, like I said, it's a lifelong it's journey. Cool. Yeah. And while we have you here, uh, it's a big year for LJ Ross, big anniversary year. Yeah. yeah, so we recently celebrated our 30th anniversary with LJ Ross. Um, we're out here, we're doing it, we're continuing to thrive and continue to grow. So really exciting for us. Hopefully we go through for another 30 more and I'll be there for all of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's a company that was founded right here in Jackson. Yeah. 1992, yes, we were found, founded in Jackson by Al Ross. He actually has recently sold his company to his niece, Melissa Plunky, so it's still in the family. And I've been there, I just celebrated my 18th anniversary wow. in December. So it's a family organization, that's why we stay. They care about us, we care about them, and we care about the community as well. Well, thanks uh, for all you do uh, for the community. You're very busy, and thanks uh, for uh, being with us here today. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Harry Howard, uh, Board Vice President, Big Brothers, Big Sisters.